Hello there, I'm Blackbright, broadcasting out of the UK into your homes around the world and also in the UK. Anyway, um, if you like my channel, you can put the thumbs up. If you don't, you can put the thumbs down. If you want to share, if you want to subscribe. And if you don't want to do anything, it's up to you, entirely up to you. Returning subscribers, welcome. Thank you for your feedback. Thank you for your comments. Thank you for your inspiring words. Um, today, I just wanted to talk about WhatsApp versus Signal. Now, a lot of us, we use WhatsApp by default. I mean, I've been using WhatsApp just because, as far as I'm concerned, it was the only free um, messenger. And um, you could call people around the world. And I didn't think there was any other option, to be honest. I was surprised how many options there are. Anyway, how many options there are, as opposed to how many secure options there are, is a different matter. Now, there's this, was well, not a WhatsApp, there's a messaging app called Signal. And Signal is so secure, it's the one that Edward Snowden used. And I was looking into it last night and I thought, well, it looks quite interesting. I mean, to be honest, those of you who are worried about security and worried about your messages being read, you're probably, you probably downloaded Signal already. The only thing with Signal, though, is that you're quite isolated if you're the only one that's got it on your phone. You do need your family and your friends and everybody you WhatsApp normally to be on it as well. So Signal hasn't got as many users as WhatsApp, of course. WhatsApp's got between one and two billion. And I think Signal last count was between one and two million. That's still quite a few, but it's very, very slow in catching up there. And the funny thing is, is that WhatsApp is actually using Signal's encryption device. So that's how good Signal is. I'm not telling you to switch to Signal. I'm just putting it out there and letting you know that apparently Signal is the most secure messaging app out there. The thing is with WhatsApp, when it's, it's got end-to-end -end encryption, but when it's uploaded to the cloud, you lose that encryption. Whereas with Signal, it doesn't send your messages up into the cloud. The downfall of that is, is that if you lose your phone, you can't get back your messages. So if you're one of these people who like to hold on to your messages and look back to your look back at your messages and have some kind of emotional attachment to your messages, then Signal is probably not for you. But if you don't have any um, attachment to your messages, Signal is really good. It's really secure and it cannot accidentally fall into the hands of third parties. Um, it's got an open source app um, that just means it's very transparent and it's one of the most secure. Um, I did write down a few notes here, as I usually do. OK, so WhatsApp's got 1.2 billion users. It's acquired by Facebook in 2014. It's still fighting, always fighting to keep end to end encryption because it's got so many users. And they're saying, oh, it's an open door to child pornography, child, and, you know, there's no child protection and terrorism and all that kind of stuff. Same old, same old. But they've, they're still kicking in their ear heels. But the thing is with WhatsApp is that you can, WhatsApp can still see the messages that have been sent, who has sent them, what time they have sent them. They just can't read the messages. That isn't the case with Signal. So that is a big difference. Um, and also, I don't like the fact that WhatsApp has changed the number of recipients you can send texts to. It's so annoying when you want to share something and you can only share it with five. So that went down in my estimation. I haven't checked how many um, I can dispatch messages to on Signal because nobody I know is on Signal yet. But the fact of the matter is, is that Signal is available. Um, encryption prevents law enforcement to access user data, even when a court order is requested. But, of course, there are exceptions. WhatsApp server. The thing is with Signal, because there's no way that they have any control over the messages, even if they had a court order, they cannot um, act on it because there is nothing. They don't save any message metadata. None. 
um, WhatsApp serves servers can still see messages, that's what I've said, um, that users send and who sends them and the time, but cannot see the content. Okay, Signal. It's got one to five million subscribers. Edward Snowden uses it. It's got an open source messenger app. It's strong end-to-end -end encryption. A desktop um, version is available. Um, supports secure voice and video calls. It's cryptographically secure. That sounds very good, but I don't know what it means. Um, well, I guess it means it incredibly secure. Um, it's the best app for private chat. It has a feature called disappearing messages. So what happens is if you turn it on, if you activate it, you send a message to somebody and it disappears after they've read it. I think that's pretty cool. Um, uh, let me see what else. So if you want to cuss someone, <laughs> you want to cuss somebody, you send them the you send them the the, um, the message, whatever you want to say, and then it disappears. They can't do nothing with it. It's like ah, oh, what happened to the message? Okay, I'm, you know. Anyway, that's me being mischievous. That's the mischievous side of me. Um, the signal does not store any message message metadata, which I said, like WhatsApp and Allo. Allo is a Google Messenger app, and the um, Google Messenger app, Allo, Google has access to every single message. So bear that in mind. Um, and Signal does not include messages when they back it up to the cloud. The Android version of Signal lets users locally export and import app data if you're switching to a new phone, but the iOS version of Signal doesn't do that. So you've got the signal for the Android, you've got the signal app for the iOS. So you can you can um, export your data on a new phone with the Android, but you can't do that iOS to iOS. Um, let me see, no way to back up your signal data to the cloud. And like I said, if you lose your phone, you lose your chat history. So if you're one of these people who like to hold on to the memories, you'll be in trouble there. Signal has no risk of accidentally handing over private messages to third party. Frederick Jacob says, really happy with the with Signal. Signal's anti-forensic architecture, encrypted database excluded from backup, key in keychain. So he's very pleased with it. I'm not quite sure who Frederick um, Jacobs is, but he seems pretty important. Well, everyone's important, aren't they? So, yeah, that's all for now. So, I'm not telling you to switch the signal, but all I'm saying is that um, it's good to have it as a backup. It's also good, you know, like I when I'm when I'm doing my vlogs, I tend to do my subjects and I tend to WhatsApp myself. And now I can kind of WhatsApp myself through Signal. I think that's how I use it if I am going to use it, because I don't want everybody knowing what I'm going to vlog about. You know, the the big I's or the big A's or whatever they call them. What do they call the seven I's or the eight I's, whatever they're called. Anyway, and that's all for now. I hope this is of interest to you. Bye-bye.